What up, ladies and gents? I was Taylor Pro coming at you guys with a little different video today. Um, mostly I do the car audio stuff on this channel, but I figured I would go ahead and post something since I haven't posted anything in a while. Uh, car audio stuff's kind of on a standpoint while I'm out at school. Some of you may know I did get another car after the CRX, uh, but that's another time, another video. This is about uh, the computer I built. Um, didn't really use my laptop on the move, so I decided to just say screw it. Go ahead and build a desktop. Get away from the old Xbox 360 gaming. I've been doing it for since its release in 2006, so I just wanted to change. and So I built a computer. Uh, nonetheless, starting with the, the biggest piece for the case, I decided to go with the Fractal Designs Arc MIDI R2. It's a freaking awesome case with tons, tons, and tons of expandability. Um, it's got two optical drives for a five and a quarter inch base. It's got a front mounted twin 140 fan setup with a push and removable dust filter on the front. On the top, it's actually got mounting holes for dual 140s, another 140 in the front, or dual 120s, a 240 or a 280 rad, and a single 280 fan if you choose to go that route. The rear has a single 140 or 120 fan mount and the bottom also has a single 140 or 120 fan mount. As well, the whole bottom for the fan and the lower mounted power supply intake has a removable dust filter to help with maintenance. Uh, let's see if there's anything worth noting. Another cool feature I like is eh, this kind of shows you Sorry for the kind of lackluster lighting here, but see the hard drive trays here. They actually, the lower one is screwed in from the bottom and has two screws right on this front edge, but it is removable just with screws. The top one can slide in and out with just a removal of two thumb screws. So you have the option to either run eight hard drive bays, three hard drive bays, just as the lower one, or you can run none if you remove everything that's the route I chose to take. Now on to the components. Uh, this is just kind of an overview of everything I've got so far. Starting with the motherboard. It's a simple AS Rock uh, Extreme 4 Z77 board. It's, you know, it's, it's a ch little bit cheaper motherboard, but it does everything I need it to do. I just have a little mild overclock and not doing anything too fancy with this setup, so it'll do the job. A ton of people buy it, and you know, of course, there's there's a, a fair few that have issues coming out with quality issues, DOA boards, and stuff like that. But if you buy from a reputable, reputable, I guess you could say, uh, manufacturer, that's never too big of an issue. You can get it swapped out. So, uh, nonetheless, the board's doing great for me so far. Uh, it's about $125, and I can't complain at all for the for the cost. Um, on the CPU, I'm sure many of you are familiar with this, LGA, or excuse me, it's a Intel i5-3570K with the LG1155 socket, K signifying it's an unlocked model. Um, processor not in here, the stock fan is, um, but I had a good time uh, with this processor so far. I've just got a simple overclock on there, it's overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz. Had, didn't even have to touch any of the voltage. It was all still set to auto settings, and I had no issues with uh, stability or anything like that. So that's that. Uh, to go with the CPU, I'm running a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler. It's only about $35, and for the price, you really can't beat it. It comes with an attached or included 4-pin PWM Cooler Master fan. In all fairness, it does get kind of loud when it's moving, but it does produce a lot of output as well. So if you have that on a um, shoot motherboard header it wouldn't be too much of an issue to just control that via your motherboard software and that's what I've done um, next we'll go to RAM obviously I've I've already installed and built this computer so I'm just showing you all the boxes this is a uh, G skill rip jaws memory some again very popular memory but it gets the job done this particular kit is a 2x4 um, stick kit at 1600 speed. Nothing crazy, but you know, gets the job done. Uh, allows me to expand to 16 gigs later if need be. This is a primarily desk uh, gaming machine. I don't do any kind of editing or anything like that. So it will do for me. 
Uh, now on to the fun stuff. Uh, for graphics card, I went with one of AMD's new R9 280Xs built by MSI. It's the Twin Frozer Gaming Edition that they made. Uh, it's got their um, Twin Frozer cooler and all that good stuff. Um, introducing the 280X, factory overclocked. It's got, you know, obviously you can use MSI Afterburner with this card, which allows tons of expandability and overclocking ability if you so desire to do that. Now a lot of people know this is more or less a 7970 HD 7970 gigahertz edition card but nonetheless it's something a little bit new. Um, MSI goes over all their, their gaming app they released which is similar to Emma, or excuse me, Nvidia's software that allows you to optimize your settings to the games and gives you different updates and uh, unlocks for games and stuff. Military class 4 components here. Um, just again trying to state to you the quality parts that MSI uses. We've got again more about the Twin Frozier cooling system. I like it a lot. The fans are huge. They are massive. You really don't get a idea of it till you hold it in your hand. It's, a, it's a definitely a big cooler and that's uh, pretty dang effective if I say so myself. So. That is that. Um, what else? Oh, just for some peripherals here, I want to go with the Steel Series Sensei uh, Raw mouse. It's got the rubberized finish on it. I love it a lot. It's got a full adjustable software set with the Steel Series engine. Uh, DPI is programmable. The buttons are programmable. The light pattern is programmable. It's a really nice mouse. Also went with one of their Steel Series small mice pad mouse pad I don't know if I say that but and for a headset I've used these for a, a month or so now before the computer um, just as my daily headphones to and from classes and stuff like that but these are the V Motocross Fade LP headphones are about a hundred dollars and I cannot say enough how much I like these I like I said uh, for you guys that don't know my channel for audio purposes I do car audio that's kind of my thing and yes these are they do have good bass output but by no means does it squash the rest of the music. Um, it could. I would be comfortable in saying it may suit, you know, your listening style better if you um, were into, you know, hip hop, pop, even you know, heavy rock music where you've got a lot of kick bass kind of stuff. This will do well for you. you know, if you're into softer music that may not be so heavy, you might find better headphones out there that have a better output in the more appropriate range per se. But I just want to make a point of it to say that it's not that these can't do uh, everything. So overall, that's everything that I had to go out and buy for a power supply. I got my roommate actually from his old build just had an old uh, LSP 750 watt unit that, you know, it's done the job so far. I just ordered two days ago from Newegg. They had a sale on the Seasonic Platinum series. Um, I got the SS860 watt fully modular platinum unit with the idea that down the line if I decide to get another 280X I will have plenty of overhead and no issues running that as well. Uh, being in a platinum unit it'll be quite efficient and may even help with the electric bill around here. So we shall see. That should be in a few days and I could always post something later on. Um, for a hard drive I got a raw drive so it just came in a bag. It's a C was it Seagate Barracuda, 7200 RPM, 64 megabyte cache, uh, one terabyte unit, nothing frilly, but a good drive nonetheless. Operating system, I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate for now. We'll see where that goes when I decide to get my SSD in the winter. And lastly, for a monitor, I am running an old school Samsung 245BW, I think is what the model is. It's a 24-inch, uh, 1920 by 1200 uh, Samsung gaming monitor so nonetheless I'll walk you guys over here and show you the completed build don't mind my messy room and there it is it's the fractal designs case don't mind my cluster of wires I just slid it out so I could show you guys and if you check on the front here this is that removable filter I told you about Let me slide it away and try to get you to see everything I know it's a little dark forgive me but if you just push on these corners, it's got some release pins. And inside, I've got two of the included fractal 140 uh, millimeter fans. Again, you've got 240 and 280 millimeter rad support. On the front I.O., you know you've got your reset button. 
mic headphone power. I've disabled the power LED. Uh, it was a really bright, a bright blue uh, LED, and I leave my computer on sleep sometimes when I go to sleep myself, and it's just too damn bright to have blinking. So I just unplugged it. Uh, two USB 3.0s and an included fan controller, which I love and use all the time. It's a 5 volt, 7 volt, 12 volt, and has support for up to three three pin fans. Now, for the top, like I said, this slides off. You just take the two thumb screws out of the back, slide it back, and it lifts up. This too has a fully uh, encapsulating foam filter. It's not removable unless you decide to screw with these little clips, but you could easily just shoot some compressed air from the other side and blow everything out, or if you wanted to, I guess you could wash it, but nonetheless, it's nice to have. Um, and here's the top. Again, 140 or 120 fan rounding here, and you've got two huge openings here. You can mount two 40 millimeter rad here and here, and over here. You've got single 280 holes over here and here. Um, I believe they're 280. They might be 200. I, I believe they're actually 200. Excuse me uh, for miss saying there. Just looking at it, I realize it's not 280, but it also has fan mounting for 140s. So you could run a 280 rad in the top if you want to. Uh, and they have offset them towards the left side to give you more room from your memory modules and all that good stuff. Uh, for now I just got a single old crappy 120 fan in the top just for a little more exhaust. Um, I thought about making a panel like in the design Fractal R4 that mounts to the bottom of this to help cut some of the noise out that just secretes from the top but another day's project. Um, the LEDs are something I added I uh, just got some 12 volt automotive strip LEDs with an adhesive back. Excuse me. Stuck them to the inside of this panel around the window. Wired them all up in a loop. Shot the wire out the back and wired them into a Molex plug. So when I turn the computer on, it all lights up cool. So went with the red and red and black theme. I had the uh, G-Force or not? Excuse me. The G-Skill memory. The Rip Jaws X is a red heat sink, looks pretty cool. Um, the MSI graphics card down there also uses a red color scheme, and with the fractal designs being a black and white predominantly set up, it looks pretty sweet. So, ours are the LEDs, nice and bright. They really aren't that bright, my camera's just making them look ridiculous. But, there's the MSI card. I'm going to show you the bottom, maybe. You can't see it too much. But it is, you know, a fairly long card. My hand is 9 inches end to end this way, so it's it's a hefty size card. It uses a single 8 and a single 6 pin connection. Like I said, I've removed all of the hard drive trays, so you have a mount here for a 140 millimeter fan, and you still have all of this space you could use if you wanted to use, you know, a 280 rad here. It could be whatever thickness you wanted it to. You could have push, pull, push or pull configuration and still have room to mount say a pump or something right here or whatever you desire. Um, on top of that, there you go, there's a little more light. You can kind of see the filter through the hole there. That's a removable dust filter that slides right out the back here. And the power supply unit, it does have isolated foam mount for the power supply top and bottom to cut down on vibration. Let's see if I can show you that up. There you get a better idea of how the sizing and look of that MSI card. Pretty sweet guy. This is a non-modular supply, so I've done my best with cable management. It turned out okay for now, but with the new one, we will have, obviously, better cable management capabilities. Got everything run up in the top. Another 140 fractal fan here. Um... This is obviously the Hyper 212 Evo cooler and the fan. Note that, I don't know how close I'll be able to get you. They are touching. Um, I had to slide the fan actually a little bit out. It just uses clip-on brackets so you can kind of slide it inwards and outwards this way. So if it does have clearance issues to your memory modules, you can slide it up a little bit and it's not the end of the world. Um, Optical drive and hard drive I have mounted here. 
reason I did this is I didn't feel it was necessary to have a bay for three or eight hard drives just to mount one, especially when you consider how much more you know airflow room you have in terms of uh, having them there. So I just used some double-sided tape um, and mounted up there. When I do get my SSD, I plan on either mounting it up there as well, maybe, or just uh, mounting it to the back side of the motherboard tray. Tons of room back here, even with cables, I can stick my whole hand there. So, all right. What else? I'm going to show you the Steel Series mouse and mouse pad. Again, awesome mouse, fully programmable. Uh, cheap Alienware keyboard I got off of eBay. And the Samsung monitor. Definitely a sizable piece, but it's a good, good quality monitor that has great resolution for gaming, and I have no complaints about it so far. So, But this video has gone on long enough, guys. I just wanted to show you kind of what I've been doing. Um, starting to get cold, so I wanted a project for the winter and something to do. And with Battlefield 4 coming out, I thought it would be cool to build a desktop, so I did. Um, more to come on this, probably, as the winter goes through. I am kind of doing stuff, a little bit of stuff to my new car. You'll probably see an updated video or two from that in the coming month or so. Um, but other than that, thanks guys for watching. If you're new here and you, you know, feel like it, go ahead and like the video or whatever. If not, that's cool with me too. I appreciate you stopping by and watching it anyway. Um, that's Taylor Pro guys signing out. Y'all have a good one.